So, are Liverpool trying to hijack this deal? Uh, Feyenoord and Brighton have a, a verbal agreement at least in place. Uh, and Liverpool are said to be trying to, to hijack it, making frantic attempts to hijack this deal uh, for a player that was signed by Arne Slot at Feyenoord. And you can just imagine those discussions at Liverpool, can't you? Weeks ago, months ago, well, we're looking for uh, a defensive midfielder, Arne. Oh, right, OK. Oh, I can't, I can't really think of anyone right now that I've already known. But... Now, we're led to believe that Arna Slot's gone, oh, do you know what? I never thought, uh, he'd be a good signing, you know. Do Liverpool hijack deals? Do Liverpool Football Club need to hijack deals? I don't think they do. That's not to say there can't be an exception. However, Liverpool Football Club, especially under Edwards, right? Very well planned, like the the current window, the following window, the do you know what I mean? Like thinking ahead all the time. Liverpool will know exactly who they're looking at in that big bubble like that. I've told you that, right? That's where we were last month. I think it's like this now, stepping up interest. That's why you're starting to see more credible links, right? So you see more credible links, like the Gordon one, for example. Yeah, leaked by Newcastle, obviously not Liverpool. Um, Ugarte. Uh, the, the defender, the left-back at, at Wolves, I can never remember his name, I can't pronounce it anyway. Well, I can when I see it on paper. Uh, maybe even Edison, do you know what I mean? So, Liverpool have, will have been like this, looking at all these things, and they'll have got it down to a couple of players, two or three players per position that they want to strengthen, right? Liverpool very well organised. Just because it's quiet, you know what I mean, guys? Don't flap. The fact... The Ornstein and especially Joyce are not saying anything at the minute. It means Liverpool are very happy and very content with where they are. Because if they weren't, they would be using the media to help them to put pressure on clubs, to, to put out messages of who they don't want and who they might want and stuff like that. It's silent because Liverpool are happy right now. Could they be trying to hijack this deal? Well, they could be. But with Anna Slot's knowledge and connection and friendship with the player, would this not have been discussed? Previously, you know, so you've got, you know, people will now go, yeah, but don't, you know, the Telegraph or whatever said this, you know, and then someone will tell you, well, another journalist over there said that Liverpool was never an option. It's just, it, all it is is social media nonsense, in my opinion. Do you know what I mean? I just think that, I think Liverpool, whether you like the owners or not, I think Liverpool's a well-run club. Do you know what I mean? And Liverpool will know exactly like I say, they might have five or six possible players for each position, then they'll narrow it down to a couple, maximum three. And then they'll step up. And I think they're in that process now. That's what I think Liverpool are now. And two weeks from now, you might start to see more credible stuff, especially when the Euros is out of it. But I don't know if I'm explaining it very well. So last month in June, you might have had like a big group like that of players. And I think now we've gone into that, where Liverpool have narrowed it down and that's why you're seeing different kinds of reports at the minute. Maybe Liverpool have, like, you know, into uh, trying to intervene, but that would be really, really strange. And I'd be asking questions of everyone if that was the case. If Liverpool suddenly want this player, you've got a player that Arna Slot took to Feyenoord. Liverpool are looking for a player like that, maybe, or, you know, that position. They will know maybe about it. That, it just doesn't make sense to me, guys. So in answer to the question, are Liverpool trying to hijack the deal? I'd find it very hard to believe. Hijacking deals are trying to... It's panic. It means disorganisation. Why were you not already at the front? Why are we not doing something about it? You know, does that mean then that someone else that you had that's fallen through and now you're like, fucking hell, we're going to have to go for it. It would... It would, it would you know, mean that there was panic going on and disorganisation. And I, I'm not getting that vibe from anyone at the moment to Liverpool Football Club. Liverpool Football Club are quiet. And to me, that suggests that Liverpool are very happy with everything that's going on. I mean, you know, again, I'm, I'm trying to come up with, like, ideas as to why Liverpool might step in. Maybe Liverpool have gone, oh, I didn't realise you'd be that cheap. You just don't know, do you? But would the manager would would Anna Slot not know what this player would what it, what he what he favours what he wants what he would cost would he not have a relationship with his agent? 
I mean, sh think about it. You're Richard Hughes, you're Michael Edwards, you're appointing this guy as your manager, head coach, right? What's one of the first things you'd say to him when you were, you know, like whether you were, you know, considering bringing him in, or let's just say at the point where you've said you're going to be the next gaffer. First thing I'd say to him is I'd go, right, is there anyone there we can fucking steal? And have you got any decent kids there? Would you, would you not say that? These people on fucking social media, they've got a lot to answer for. Liverpool making frantic attempts. Running around. Ah, screaming. This fucking Liverpool football club, man. Even if things are going wrong, they're not going to behave like that. They're not going to be doing frantically doing anything. Sounds like a lot of bollocks to me. That's what I think. But I don't know. I'm not a Twitter ITK. But I've got more sense than all them fucking Twitter ITKs put together, I tell you. Let me know what you think. These Twitter ITKs make Bill Bull claim, oh, look, Liverpool doing this, and an hour later they say they're not. It's like, hang on a minute, you ran the exclusive. They create exclusives and shit like that and then kill them themselves. Or oh, it fell through. Easy to do that. Think about it. Think about it. If you had a website, Liverpool website, exclusive. Liverpool want to sign player A. Oh, God, really? Fucking hell. Yes, and uh, talks are underway. Milk the fuck out of it for a bit. A couple of days later, nah, nah, they couldn't get an agreement, guys. So you're creating an exclusive and killing your exclusive if, in one go. Don't trust these fuckers. You know, I warned you about this a long time ago. It might not be relevant to this particular claim, all right? Because this is coming from the media, if you like. But I, when Elon Musk took over X and said that there'll be revenue sharing, those, all those, those X accounts, all they've got to do is get 5 million impressions over a set period of time. I think it's three months, right? And that means the more people, and they get, the more people that comment, the more money they make, basically. So the bolder the claims, the more, more exciting the claims, the more you get. Me, usually, I turn my comments off because I don't fucking want to listen to all them idiots, you know what I mean? So I'd be very cautious with it. I'd be very cautious with the claims surrounding this one, to be honest with you, because Liverpool is a well-organised club. Yes, things can change. But if you believe that Richard Hughes and Michael Edwards are absolutely shitting themselves because they can't get this kit, it's just fucking ridiculous. All right, guys, uh, I'll be live at seven tonight if you want to join me. If you appreciate this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please drop me a comment. What do you think about him anyway? Do you like him? Is he good enough for Liverpool? Let me know. If you want to buy me a beer or a coffee. If you're a Muslim, you can't get out of it unless I can't support buying you alcohol, big dunk. Come on, get me a fucking coffee then. For a curly whirly. I don't eat curly whirlies, but we've been joking about them on here for a bit recently. I'm off to England on Saturday, so I could do with stocking up on a few beers. Mm. I'm going to have some cider this weekend. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't do because I'm trying to lose a bit, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to a bar in England and paying fucking, fucking prices for vodka and that in England. Fuck that. Uh, can I have a vodka and coke, love, please? Vodka, diet coke. Can I have a vodka and diet coke? Yes, love. It's £6.50. Like that. Fuck that rice off. No, I'll have, a, I'll have a pint of Magnus, thanks. If, if you get a pint of Magnus, you know, like you like ice in Magnus, and they get you a pint, they go, do you want ice with it? Right? Just say, no, I'm all right, thanks. Let them fill it right to the fucking top. And then go, actually, I will have some ice. Can you put it in another glass for me? Because if they put ice in the glass and then put, you're only getting half a pint, guys. I'm saying, fucking DKB, man. I'm having it. See you a bit. Seven o'clock.